is will there be anything in the speech to talk about reversing some of those policies, for example, either Keystone Pipeline or allowing our oil and gas companies to pursue federal oil and gas leases even while we try to transition in the future and on a, on a, with a smart path to greener energy? Well, I would say, Dana, the president shares the concern about any impact on gas prices, on energy prices for the American people. And that's why a range of options remain on the table. He already recently tapped into the Strategic Petroleum Reserve uh, just last fall, which had an impact. But I would say but the Keystone Pipeline. It, but, that, but the but, impact, Jen, that was pretty, that was a, a blip. blip. Uh, you know, it was the, a 10 cent thing, but it doesn't last. But, Dana, the policies you mentioned, I, I know Senator, uh, Senator Cotton and others have mentioned these, they, they are not policies that would address the issue at all. Uh, this Keystone Pipeline, it would take years for that to have an impact on prices. Obviously, there are a range of reasons why the president opposes it, but it wasn't functioning, isn't functioning. It would take years. There are also 9,000 approved oil leases that oil companies mm -hmm. are not tapping into. So, yes, we all want to take steps to address any raise in uh, gas prices that impact the American people, but we should be very clear about what policies will help and what policies will not help. And over time, we absolutely need to reduce our dependence, and that's something you're seeing mm -hmm. uh, European countries take steps to do as well.